Today's lesson is on rational exponents and their connection with radicals. So rational just means fraction. So exponents with fractions and how they're connected to the radicals. So you might remember earlier in this unit, I did talk about how the square root is really the same thing as x to the power of 1 half. And we learned about cube roots. That would be x to the power of 1 third. So the official way to write this would be if I have b to the power of a fraction 1 over n, it would be equal to the nth root of b. So as you can see, it's the denominator of the fraction is the root of a radical. Same thing. All right, so, and then to get slightly more um, in depth here, I have b to the power of, let's say, instead of 1, I've got m over n. Well, the denominator is still my root, so that would be the nth root of b, and then this is to the power of m, which is the same thing as the nth root of b, let's say in this whole thing, raised to the power of n. All right, so here are three examples where we have rational exponents, and we're just going to change them into radical form. All right, so the first one, it's just x to the power of 1 sixth. So we've got 1 in the numerator. The denominator is my root. So this is just the sixth root of x. All right, so the next one, denominator is my root, and then top, that would just be the extra exponent. So this is the fourth root of d to the power of 7, or the fourth root of d, and the whole thing raised to the power of 7. All right, so the last one, now I've got numbers, so I could actually maybe evaluate this all the way. All right, 3, there's my root. So cube root of 216 squared. Well, the cube root of 216 is 6, but we still have this too. So 6 squared is 36. All right, now going the other direction. Here's three examples where I start with radicals, but I'm writing my final answer as an exponent. All right, so fourth root of z, that's the same thing as z to the power of one-fourth. All right, so here I've got two. I've got the cube root of c to the power of negative five. So root is the denominator. So c to the power of so something over 3, and then this is the numerator, negative 5 over 3. All right, all numbers, so I can evaluate this all the way. Let's see, you've got denominator. Um, well, if I'm just going to write it in exponential form here, I will have 32 to the power of, root is my denominator, 3 up top. So that's, I guess, just to write it in exponential form. Um, another way to think about this is, let's see, I've got the fifth root of 32 to the third. The fifth root of 32 is 2 to the third, and 2 to the third is 8. All right, so now I'm looking at simplifying expressions that have rational exponents. So this is, says a to the power of 2 sevenths times a to the power of 4 sevenths. All right, so we've reviewed properties of exponents. Multiplying powers that have the same base, they tell you to add your exponents. So this is equivalent to a to the power of 2 sevenths plus 4 sevenths. Adding exponents, I've got, or adding fractions, 
um, denominator is the same, so I just have to add my numerator. So that is a 4 plus 2 to the power of 6 sevenths. Um, and then I want to practice writing your final answer in both exponent form and radical form. So that is the seventh root of a to the power of 6. All right, another one, x to the power of 1 half times x to the power of 1 third. Same type of example. The only difference is I don't have a common denominator, but I'm still adding my exponents. x to the power of 1 half plus 1 third. So if I want to 1 half plus 1 third, kind of off to the side, get a common denominator, 3 and 3, 2 and 2. So I could look at that as so x to the power of um, 3, 6. Whoops, 3, there we go, 3 over 6 <laughs> plus 2 over 6. That would be x to the power of 5, 6. And then let's practice writing that in radical form. That's the sixth root of x to the fifth. All right, so here, this time, it starts in radical form. So I'm multiplying the fourth root of x times the cube root of x squared. Well, I can convert them to exponent form. x to the power of 1 fourth times x to the power of, let's see, 2 thirds. Multiplying powers, I add the exponents. So x to the power of 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. All right, so off to the side, I've got 1 fourth plus 2 thirds to get a common denominator. Let's see, multiply 3 over 3 here. Multiply 4 over 4 here. So then, that will be x to the power of 3 over 12 plus 8 over 12, which is x to the power of 11 twelfths, which is the same thing as the twelfth root of x to the power of 11. All right, this one, a little bit different now, I'm dividing powers. Dividing powers that have the same base. So the property, when you're dividing, z to the power of 3 fifths divided by z to the power of 1 half. If you remember, the property tells you to subtract exponents. So that would be z to the power of 3 fifths minus 1 half. We're subtracting, we still need a common denominator, so 3 fifths minus 1 half. Um, so 2 over 2, 5 over 5. So to write them with common denominators, I have z to the power of 6 tenths minus 5 tenths, which is z to the power of 1 tenth, which is the same thing as the tenth root of z. All right, so here, a different property of exponents. It's power to a power. x to the power of 2 thirds to the power of 1 fourth. If you remember, this property tells you to multiply your exponents. So this would be x to the power of 2 thirds times 1 fourth. You don't need a common denominator. Just multiply straight across. So this is x to the power of 2 over 12. That can simplify to be x to the power of 1 sixth, which is the sixth root of x. All right, last example. I want you to pause it, try it on your own, see if you can figure it out. Just remember, it starts with roots, change it to fractions, um, rational exponents, and then use the property. All 
All right, check your answer. Changing to the rational exponents, subtracting, common denominators, final answer in both rational exponent form and radical form. So there is your lesson on rational exponents and radicals. Good luck.